Audubon Aquarium of the Americas is located along the banks of the Mississippi River in the historic French Quarter. Ranked as one of the top aquariums in the U.S., a visit spans the underwater world from the Caribbean to the Amazon rainforest to the waters that give New Orleans its lifeblood, the Mississippi River and the Gulf of Mexico. The concept for the attraction dates to 1984, when Audubon Nature Institute began exploring the idea of an aquarium dedicated to the aquatic environments of South, Central and North America and nearby oceans and rivers. It was something we at Audubon was passionate about because we wanted to teach kids about the nature. We wanted to teach about the Gulf of Mexico, about wetland loss. But the community was more interested in that particular time about the loss of the oil and gas industry and the need to create employment and jobs for our community. Um, so our job was to not only talk about the education value and the cultural value and the conservation value, but really put emphasis on job creation. And that's what eventually sold it to the public. That same year, Audubon officials conducted a fact-finding trip to the National Aquarium in Baltimore, Maryland. Audubon then announced its intention to create a new aquarium and riverfront park that will link the Vucare to the business district, change the look of the New Orleans waterfront, boost civic pride, and offer a spectacular view of the undersea wonders of the Western Hemisphere. In siding where the aquarium is going to be built, one thing that became obvious to us is that we have one of the greatest rivers in the world running right through the middle of our city. But 25 years ago, if you wanted to see the river, um, you had to literally go to the moonwalk and look over a flood wall. Um, the importance of opening that riverfront as the front porch for our city became paramount in the building of the project. A consortium of local architecture firms working under the name the Bienville Group designed the aquarium's signature wave-like shape and glimmering partial glass facade. In October 1989, Woldenburg Riverfront Park opened to the public. With some people doubting that the aquarium would open on time, Audubon President and CEO Ron Foreman made a friendly wager with Mayor Sidney Bartholomew that it would. By June of 1990, some were afraid it wouldn't be finished in time for a Labor Day opening. Even the mayor bet against it, saying he would swim with the sharks if they could open on time. Well, the mayor took a swim last week. On September 1st, 1990, the aquarium's inaugural day in business saw 13,623 visitors, breaking all opening day records for any U.S. aquarium. The aquarium has far exceeded anyone's expectation in the vision of building that aquarium. Uh, when we said let's build an aquarium, we said let's bring jobs to the hospitality industry, let's bring family tourism to town. Uh, we have projected 870,000 visitors the first year, 2.3 million visited the aquarium, the busiest aquarium for opening in North America. At the same time, over 25 years, we projected 16 to 17 million would come and visit our facility. We're approaching 30 million coming to the facility. So every number, it's nice that when you project a number to, all, to be on the high side, not the low side. So it's far exceeded all our expectations, and we're excited. It's, it's, as good as the aquarium has been the last 25 years, being the objectives we set aside, I think the next 25 years even looks brighter. By the beginning of 1991, just six months after opening, the aquarium reached its first year attendance goal of 868,000 visitors. In 1995, the opening of the Energy IMAX Theater attracted a who's who guest list of local luminaries. Seated in the giant theater, visitors are immersed in images of unsurpassed size, clarity, and impact. Sounds are enhanced by a specially designed six-channel multi-speaker sound system. The silver screen at the Energy IMAX Theater is five and a half stories tall. The jellyfish attraction opened in 1996, offering a colorful and unusual collection from around the world, including many from the local Gulf of Mexico waters. Three years later, the aquarium unveiled the 23,000-gallon sea otter exhibit. The custom-made habitat, featuring two swimming pools at different depths, rock nooks, and a large behind-the-scenes area is a must-see for guests. The Seahorse Gallery opened in 2000, showcasing beautiful and exotic pipefish, long-snout seahorses, line seahorses, and pot-bellied seahorses. These delightful creatures conjure thoughts of mystical sea monsters as they gracefully glide through the water. 
Hurricane Katrina left its mark on both New Orleans and Audubon. In 2005, Audubon attractions were on target for their most successful year ever. Standing on high ground, Audubon Aquarium survived the passage of the storm, but backup power generators were unable to fully operate the complex life support systems needed. Obviously for all of us, it was a, was a devastating time in our history. Um, the hurricane itself did not impact Audubon's facilities. As you know, we have 10 facilities with zoos and aquariums and insectariums and nature centers and so forth, and, and uh, we have other facilities. Uh, we have over 10,000 animals that uh, we manage. So when the hurricane hit, we were well prepared, uh, and, and we did well with the hurricane. Obviously for all of us, it was the breaking of levees and the flooding of our city. Uh, and all our facilities did fine except for the aquarium. But fortunately, um, those days are over. The aquarium immediately rebuilt. Um, the numbers um, are back to where they used to be, and um, um, everything's doing fine again. So a 10-year history uh, since the hurricane has allowed us to build better than what we had before, and the facilities are doing even much better than they were prior to the um, hurricane. Parakeet Point was the first major new exhibit at the aquarium to open after the storm. This venue offers a unique way to connect with wildlife, providing a memorable experience for guests as they stroll among free-flying and personable parakeets. The parakeet exhibit, located on the second level of the aquarium, measures 800 square feet of lush habitat just perfect for these energetic winged creatures. In 2012, Audubon founded the Gulf United for Lasting Fisheries program, fulfilling the need for a homegrown advocate to watch over a fishing industry so critical to the region's economy. The initiative is dedicated to promoting and conserving seafood resources in the Gulf of Mexico and working to keep the industry relevant in an ever-changing landscape of sustainability. In order to highlight stories of the invaluable work done by the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries and Audubon to enhance the care and survival of wildlife in the region, the Changing Exhibits Gallery got a makeover in 2013, becoming Go Fish. The new exhibit offers visitors a fun, hands-on opportunity to learn about Louisiana's fishing industry, while educating guests about the importance of protecting Louisiana's abundant aquatic resources. In 2014, the opening of the Great Maya Reef completely transformed the entrance of the aquarium into a great submerged Maya city that might have been found on the Yucatan Peninsula. Walking through the 30-foot-long tunnel into the underwater world of the ancient flooded Maya metropolis, visitors imagine themselves immersed in the mysterious rusticated ruins deep below the ocean's surface, surrounded by exotic sea creatures that thrive near one of the world's largest reefs. Visitors can also explore from inside the exhibit with the Maya dive experience. Guests can snorkel or scuba, getting up close and personal with colorful fish and getting a taste of the second largest barrier reef in the world without having to fly to Central America. The aquarium offers another way to experience a wild encounter, the Backstage Penguin Pass. The popular program is a rare interactive opportunity to have a close-up encounter with an African penguin. Guests learn about penguin natural history and how the aquarium cares for its collection. The aquarium also coordinates the Louisiana Marine Mammal and Sea Turtle Rescue Program, which is the primary rescue partner for the state for rehabbing marine mammals. The program works at the direction of state and federal organizations to respond to stranded dolphins, whales, manatees, and sea turtles. Audubon Aquarium of the Americas has far exceeded expectations, fulfilling a promise to transform the riverfront into the city's front porch and a popular gathering place for the community. Along with Waldenburg Park, the aquarium has forever changed how New Orleanians view their waterfront. 25 years later is a, is a star glowing on the riverfront of New Orleans that brings in tremendous economic development for our community, but also as a quality of life experience for our own families. Audubon Aquarium is poised to take a giant leap forward, providing conservation, education, and family recreation to millions. Plans are underway for new immersive experiences for guests to celebrate the wonders of nature, ensuring the aquarium's world-class status well into the future.